And let's head out to our Alex Fulton. He is at the Democratic headquarters right now. And Alex, I understand you have former gubernatorial candidate Deidre Dejir with you. Stephanie, I'm here with Deidre Dejir. You actually worked with Kamala Harris a few years ago. Tell us about your experience. So I was the former Iowa chair in her 2019 run, and it was an incredible experience. She came out the gate incredibly strong. She was fighting for justice. She was fighting for freedom. Um, and she made her stamp right here in Iowa. There was a point in time during this time of the year where she decided she was going to move to Iowa for a little bit of time. And so um, she was a formidable candidate uh, in this state. And uh, we've seen her become an incredible vice president leading out this country. Yeah. And so what's tonight like for you? How are you kind of feeling? Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good. And the reason why I feel so good is because a couple of years ago, you know, a, a lot of people in this room took some hits and we saw some wins, but we saw some hits as well. Um, but Iowa Democrats continue to push. Our young people have been knocking doors across the state. Um, our county parties have been knocking doors across the state. We've had incredible candidates who have who have knocked on doors, who sat down with Iowans to talk about their story. And it's meant so much. And I think it's made a courageous difference in the output of this election. There was a point in time when so many folks in this room could have given up, could have thrown in the towel and said, I'm, I'm done fighting. But freedom was on the ballot in this year. And folks decided that they were going to continue to fight for freedom. And, and they've been doing it from, from from young to old, people who can't even vote are advocating um, for the basic rights of humanity right now. And I couldn't be more proud of this state. Sure. And I was going to say, what would it mean for you as someone that's worked with Kamala Harris in the past if she won here tonight? I mean, it would mean the difference for so much of what we're fighting for across the state and across this country. The basic freedoms of a student having access to an affordable but a quality education, the, the basic freedom of a woman being able to go into her doctor's appointment and not have to worry about anybody else minding her business, the basic freedom of people to have access to this thing we call life, liberty, and happiness, and it show up in their pocketbooks. Those things are going to come to fruition with the President Kamala Harris, and, and I think that that not only means something to people like me, but it means something to all of Iowans, whether they choose to vote for her or not. And, and I think that that message, message should resonate with people not only in this state, but across this country. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for those powerful wor words, Deidre. And we are going to be here all night at the Hotel Fort Des Moines following this race and seeing how Iowa performed, whether they vote for Trump, whether they vote for Kamala Harris. And we will continue to provide updates all night. Live in downtown Des Moines, Alex Fulton, Local 5 News.